What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I today we're focusing on why one of my favorite players of all time, Keith Kachuk, belongs in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh, obviously, a uh, fellow mass hole and uh, more of a Catholic product, one of Sam's biggest rivals, Catholic, Catholic Conference opponent, so a lot of respect to him, Melrose native. Um, one year at BU, it's actually worth noting, his senior year at Mall Catholic, he only played six games, uh, had 26 points in six games, which is, you know, more points than I've had in my career. Uh, because he got hurt playing football, and uh, you know he's a good two-sport athlete. And a big dude at 6'2 and 235. He's an aircraft carrier. You know he's a prototypical power forward, built on the Cam Neely, Brennan Shanahan mold. You know he's one of those guys that uh, his whole game was tenacity. And I, as someone who, you know, you grew up in the Boston area, that's what you're raised on. That's how you you're taught to play the game. And uh, he brought that on night in, night out basis. Played one year at BU, then went on to the uh, Olympic team, and then was with Winnipeg for 10 years. Before they moved to the desert, uh, spent some time in Phoenix, and then uh, on to with, with ten years in that with that franchise. Obviously, he was with them when they relocated from Winnipeg to Phoenix, and then ended up having some great years with St. Louis. Had a brief stop off in Atlanta, and then uh, ended up back in in St. Louis. You know, statistics are great: 538 goals and 1,065 points in 1,200 games, 1,200 and 2,200 penalty minutes. So obviously, the Pims are high. Uh, most penalty minutes by anyone to ever lead the league in goal scoring. First American to ever lead the league in goal scoring. Had uh, two 50-goal seasons, uh, two more 40-goal seasons, and I think four or five 30-goal seasons. Uh, wow. So, I mean, the numbers are great. Wasn't the best playoff player due to, um, you know, in fact, his teams really weren't that good. You know, those Winnipeg-Phoenix teams. I mean, Phoenix just got out of the second round this year for the first time ever. For, out of the first round. And Winnipeg hasn't been out of the second round since 87. Winnipeg had to be, yeah, let's say, wow. So, and then, I mean, those St. Louis Blues teams are good, but, like, perennially underachieved. Um, so, I, I can't fault them for that. But, uh, you know, just a prototypical power forward with tenacity, could hit. Um, I put him in terms of a power forwards to have played the game. He's in the same category as Neely, Wendell Clark. You know, obviously, Gordie Hoff's the greatest power forward of all time. But you look at since 1980, you know, Cam Neely, Shanahan... Kachuk, Wendell Clark, like I said, <clears throat> uh, Gillies, great one. You know, even Terry Riley to a certain degree is more of a grinder with with some goal scoring ability. But you know, he's one of those guys. He's in that mold. He's in that discussion. Um, you know, a deadly goal scorer that could could beat you with his fist. And you know, it was tough. And it's funny. He all the fights he had. He only lost a tooth fight. He only lost a tooth playing hockey his last year in the league. It's pretty cool. I always thought. But, uh, you know, I hope he belongs, he belongs in the Hall of Fame. You know, we look at how he played the game, his approach to the game. He belongs there. You know, that that's how, that's, play the game, how I played the game, right? Was a, it was a great competitor and a great ambassador for USA Hockey. Won a uh, silver medal in 2002 at the Olympics. And, uh, you know, like I said, no, he never had 198 points. He's more of a goal scorer than a, a passer, obviously. But, you know, we, Gold, uh, silver medal in 2002. Never won the cup. Never really went far. I think it was the conference finals in 2001 with the Blues. Yeah. But, you know, that's not really his fault. That, you know, they got shut down. Adam Foot did a great job shutting him down in 2001. But, you know, I think had he ended up on a team like Philly or the Bruins later on in his career, you know, could have ended up with a cup ring, which would have been uh, great for Big Walt, as they called him. Because, uh, what, what was it? Eddie Olchek played with Walt, Walt Kachuk in, uh, with the Rangers, so that name kind of stuck. No, it wasn't old chick. It was uh, <coughs> coach there for Toronto. You know what I'm thinking of. Not Ronnie Wilson. You know, but uh, anyway, I, I digress. But, uh, you know, uh, he's one of those guys that belongs in the Hall of Fame. I can't see him. You know, it's, it's a, it was Eddie Olchek. I'm an idiot. But, uh, like I said, hopefully the Hockey Hall of Fame agrees with me and, and ducks Big Walt in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think he's eligible 2013. I think. We retired 2010, so see y'all shakes up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for this episode of the Power Play with CJ on why Keith Kachuk belongs in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.